Hello guys, Jeff here at Yakety Mac, and another package has arrived from Navar Kayak Fish. And I can't help myself, it's too good. Let's open this up and see what it is. All right, here we are. Jeffrey, thank you for your support. Erica, Erica, you're welcome. You, Nick, the team over there, you guys are fantastic. I love supporting business like yours. All right, I'm going to pause this for a second because the unwrapping is going to be very loud in the microphone. And I'll show you what we got. Okay, guys, so here it is. These are the gear track replacements here for the Old Town Sportsman Series. A uh, little beefier gear track, and it's got these cutouts in it so you can place some tools in there. Uh, I'm excited to put these on. These are going to help with organization. I am an organization nut. Anything that increases organization, gets rid of clutter, uh, makes things more efficient, I'm a sucker for it. So we're gonna go put these on guys, let's go. Okay guys, I am ready to take off the old gear tracks and replace with the new, save your hardware. You will reuse your hardware for the new gear tracks. So I'm gonna use a drill here on a low setting, take them all out, clean the track up underneath, put the new one on. All right, so I got the old gear track off. Just gonna clean up underneath it a little bit. No sense in putting the gear track back on top of dirt. These come in pairs, by the way, one for each side. And this here is gonna be for the left side. You want these connections and these cutouts and everything to be closest to the seat. Line it up, it lines up perfectly and then reinstall. I'm gonna install the two ends first and I'm not running them all the way down just yet. So as you're putting this on, leave your screws kind of loose at the beginning so that you can maneuver and position this up here to line up with the holes. Otherwise, you will find yourself going back and untightening this. All right, guys, there we go, all tightened down. One side, I'll get a close-up of them here in a moment. I'm going to switch over and do the other side real quick. Then we'll start putting things on. Okay, guys, a little word of caution when you install these here. I tightened the screws down tight, uh, nice and snug, but it posed a problem when I did so. So I got a little Yak Attack track mount here, and it won't go past the first set of, 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 of screws here on the side. So... Uh, at first, I thought maybe it was a defect in the rail itself, and then I got to wondering, well, did I put the screws down so tight that it, that it kind of pulled the track together at those points? And that's exactly what happened. I'll show you here on the other side. So I went back and loosened these up just a little bit at a time, because I didn't want to back them out too far. And you can see here now it slides just fine. It does catch just a little bit right there at the screws. But over time, that's going to wear down a little bit. You'll probably wear a little groove in there and you'll be just fine. But as you can see here, now it slides back just fine. So now I'm going to go back and loosen up the other side and do the same thing. Okay, guys, on this side over here, I ended up actually taking out all of the side screws. Uh, because even loosening, I could not get the, the track ball to, to move up and down the gear track. Uh, so once I took all the screws out, I started just kind of working with it. Maybe even trying to work a little groove. As you can see, it still catches just like right there, it caught, catches just a little bit, um, but it's manageable. And I think over time, it'll start to wear a little groove there and it'll, you'll get you'll get less of that catching. Uh, so once I got it kind of wore in, broke in, if you would, then I went back through and tightened back the side screws down. Not super tight, but I didn't like them as loose as they were. So now I've gotten them tightened back down, and you can see here I can move the, uh, the ball up and down the track. Just catches a little bit on each one of the places where the screws go in. I think they're, I think they're bulging out just a little bit, and catching the, the, uh, the bottom part of this here as it goes through the track. All right, so now that I've got that all situated, let's start putting some accessories on. Okay, guys, so there they are, installed. They look nice. They work great. Um, you can see here I've got my camera mounted here. I used to mount it right here on the handle, 
So it's just a few inches forward here. Uh, and what I like is, is that they made these with only one entry point. The factory comes with an entry point down here as well, which means you can't move things as close to the seat. So I like the fact that they only have the one entry point and you can slide things back a little bit further. So that's nice. I love these cutouts to help hold things. Uh, again, it's organization. And I like here, I can clip my, uh, my fish grips. Whoops, clip the fish grips right on there, have them stay in place. On the other side here, this is the camera mount that I use whenever I'm taking video of me facing the seat. I never really had anywhere to stow this before. Now I do. And then I've got the kind of pliers that stay open. And that was always kind of a pain in the butt when they would get down here because it would get caught up into this netting all the time. But now I can stick them right down in there. They stay closed. They stay out of the way. Really nice. I'm happy with it. it. takes all of about five minutes to uninstall and then reinstall. Just be careful again that you don't over tighten these. Leave these pretty loose when you put these side ones in here until you put your device on here and make sure that it slides back and forth. All right. Once you've got it sliding back and forth, then go back and start tightening these down. All right, y'all. So that modification, that upgrade, that install, whatever it is that you want to call it, is just the appetizer. The main course is out for delivery today. I have ordered yet another item from Navarre Kayak Fishing. This one is my biggest one yet. This is the Garmin Striker 4 Fish Finder, Depth Finder, however you refer to it, bundle. It has everything that you need to install a traditional depth finder on a kayak and head out onto the water and do some fishing. Those of you who have seen my videos before or my review on my current depth finder, the Deeper Pro Plus 2, um, may be wondering why I'm going to the Garmin. Well, I've started to have a couple of issues out of my Deeper unit. I'm going to do a separate video on that, kind of explain what those issues are and how I'm working with Deeper to try to get those resolved, and I'll let you know how that goes. But in the meantime, I'm excited about this. I finally just decided, you know what, I'm going to do a traditional uh, depth finder on this and what I love is is that this is going to be a very minimalist install You're not going to have wires going everywhere. You're not going to have to drill holes You're not going to have to find a place to stage a battery This bundle has got everything that you need can't wait guys If you want to see it if you're thinking about installing one on your kayak or your small little vessel of some sort Subscribe as soon as the video drops check it out. Let me know what you think guys. Thank you very much I appreciate you watching. I always appreciate you watching. Remember, comment, like, subscribe, share, and no matter what you've got going on, even if it's a little bit cloudy and chilly outside, always make sure you take time to get outside and play.